Here we go my leak test for the CPU and chipset blocks only before I adding video cards everything connected as I explained in the previous video uh, so we have a CPU block here and uh, MOSFETs and everything goes um, through the pump um, kind of temporary solution but um, I wanted to make sure that nothing leaks and uh, good that I did because uh, CPU block leak really badly so I'm basically have to replace uh, o-ring uh, rubber o-ring for those uh, compression fittings which is um, standard o-ring didn't work well and uh, it was too small so I have a major leak here uh, going all the way down on motherboard and everything uh, but I fix that use a thicker o-ring and I recommend to do that for anybody who will use uh, feather compression fittings um, standard uh, o-ring doesn't work well on the EK block it works fine everywhere else on the chipset blocks on the reservoir on the pump itself so it was good but not on a CPU so to save yourself a little bit of the stress you can um, make sure you cha exchange uh, rubber rings before you do installation and um, so everything good for now it uh, was overnight no leaking no nothing so now I can replace uh, standard cooling on video cards and make final assembly and uh, basically come to the conclusion for this uh, build